like what are the thoughts just like what am i doing but like what am i doing like in a larger sense yeah 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 oh okay hi everyone it's hannah and i'm here with grant and we are back for another episode of prugalki pod but yeah just a little bit about grant your last name is fakui (laughs) correct Correct. nice and he is the uh founder ceo president of (laughs) extreme arts and crafts yeah Yeah. one man operation um kind of do everything wow and look guys i'm supporting grand streams this is the shrek sweat shirt i almost wore this to coachella but she's um, embarrassed i was a little embarrassed because from the front guys I just, I literally look sweaty. So, and yeah, I, I should have just put it on for today, but you know, we're here. She's too embarrassed. Yeah, she yeah, yeah, yeah. My outfit was too good. <laughs> sorry sorry um but yeah i guess just a little bit of background on grant um like yeah who are you where are you from Um, what are you up to just a guy chasing the dream Mm -hmm. who knows what the dream is but i'm chasing something okay Uh, yeah i just like to make stuff i have ideas and get carried away with them like this yeah so i guess like in terms of like your ideas and like creative ventures Uh like have you always been creative like how did you kind of like get into all of this okay well i think i have always been but never really like took it serious until well i maybe do i take it serious now i don't know i think you do yeah i guess okay but anyways (laughs) out of high school it was like oh i'm gonna start a clothing brand that all that typical yeah typical (laughs) and then you know that doesn't work out so you try yeah so i mean i know a little bit about you because of your tiktok mind you guys like me and grant have met uh twice three times yeah Yeah, three times before this maybe what the first time it was for literally 30 seconds coffee yeah we yeah went to a coffee shop and then i just gave you a box or something he just gave me like a box of merch hi and i was like oh hi okay Okay, bye (laughs) and then the second time was at the gallery still last week (laughs) pop-up yeah literally (laughs) and that was also for like 30 minutes yeah yeah. i was like oh hey yeah but you know we're friends yeah exactly um and so very interesting thing about grant he is paying rent at his at his house but is not living there yeah and where where are you living right now in planet fitness parking lot just in your car in in the car got Um, it (laughs) yeah and this is um by choice yes you were kicked out of the house no i wasn't kicked out or anything um yeah, I just chose to pay rent this month and not live there. Uh-huh. Um, and w- like, what what started this? I feel so, like not many people want to like go through the inconvenience of living in their car. So I really want to be famous, right? Uh huh. <laughs> <I'm> just kidding. <laughs> okay, so, so basically, I had the idea. I had the idea of the shopping cart thing a long time ago. Okay. But it's for a different project, and um, never followed through with it. And recently, I was like driving home. I was like, what if I sold the Shrek shirts out of the cart? And then, you know, how ideas go. What if I survived only off the t-shirts for a month? What if I lived out of my car too? And and here we are. Here we are. For the next month, I can only buy food using money I make selling these t-shirts out of this cart. Yeah, so a little bit of background. Um, I like, you know, me and Grant haven't like talked in a minute. And all of a sudden, I'm seeing his TikToks pop up. Extreme Arts and Crafts on TikTok. Yeah, I'm um, really famous. Yeah, yeah and yeah. he's like, oh for the next month i'm only eating things with yeah. the money i get from t-shirt sales t-shirts like and gas you, too and like oh it's everything yeah everything oh you're completely living off yeah, of yeah. <gasps> oh i thought it was just food no it's everything oh it's everything yeah. okay okay so i'm starving and also can't go anywhere oh okay <laughs> so that's why you've just been staying in your at one the park planet fitness i have like a five mile radius that i go to so oh. walmart uh, the park, uh-huh. Planet Fitness, um, and like a coffee shop. Oh. And then when things are going really well, like two sales, you know, uh-huh, uh-huh. I can you can like leave your yeah, restaurant or I could go, uh, you know, outside of the five mile. Yeah. You can go to the sixth mile. Yeah, six mile. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, that hasn't happened too many times. Uh huh. But well, hopefully after this episode, it happens. Yeah, probably because you're pretty famous too. No. Nope. So, yeah. Nope. I mean, we're both like. We're both like know. just. 
Always avoiding avoiding paparazzi yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 like getting here was just a trek dude i know yeah like, <laughs> i couldn't even we couldn't even walk up the stairs i know i know Crazy. <laughs> like we had to go through our own separate elevator dude, yeah you guys would never know what it's like <laughs> yeah. yeah um okay wait and so <laughs> back to your five mile radius uh-huh. you're spending a lot of time alone yeah oh yeah and so was that like also a part of like the idea of everything like oh i want some alone time um i really like alone time but i didn't think it would be like this like this is definitely has some crazy thoughts can i ask like like, what are the thoughts just like what am i doing kind of thing Uh uh-huh but like what am i doing like in a larger sense yeah yeah yeah. oh yeah have you seen that meme it's like it's like in 20 years at career day or like bring your parent to work or whatever Uh for for the kids (laughs) okay it's like everyone's gonna oh my dad makes clothes <laughs> it's gonna be every dad <laughs> every single dad has so just like, a clothing company yeah, like maybe we need like a plumber or you know like, right like yeah so a stable sta- yeah, humble yeah. job yeah yeah like a real job oh yeah know? yeah yeah not, <laughs> not this <laughs> not selling sh- oh my dad uh sells shrek shirts out yeah. of a shopping cart but then i get a sale and i'm like oh like this is this is why i'm doing it right and like with the whole like like the what am I doing? Mm-hmm. Is that something like you were asking yourself prior to living in your car? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like this whole year has kind of been just like trying to figure out what. Because my I think the people around me in my house they're all like very creative people, oh. like singer, dance, like clothing design, yeah, everything. So it kind of like motivated me at first, uh-huh. but now I'm like it's not because of them, but I'm just like rethinking like why, like does the world need more of this? Even though this is, like, all I'm kind of good at. I didn't go to school. Oh, uh uh-huh. And then, like, you know. Right. I don't know if I have anything else to make that's, like, valuable. Interesting. Because this definitely isn't. No. I mean, it's really cool. You should buy one. No, I think this is so... Wait, I think this is so much value. But it's, like, do we need it? I mean, we don't need it, but, like... Yeah, that's... But, like, if I... where I'm at. If if it wasn't available, if you did not, like, think of this and create it... Yeah. Like, a part of me would be missing well that is true (laughs) yeah 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 not just my closet but me yeah you know wow so i'm adding value yeah i'm also getting a phone call right now because i'm really famous oh okay but i don't know like because obviously people need clothes right but how much of it do we need Mm. and like also i don't know like the reason i don't just get a real job is because i just get like sick of things i mean we talked about like picking up hobbies and everything if i get a job i'll be sick of it in like two months and it's not like and you want to like yeah work there for two months and like but, quit. But maybe that's like I just need to work on that, you know. Huh. Like maybe I could just fix it. Because for so long I've had the mentality. It's like oh, I don't want to work for anyone. Like I'll just you know. my own boss. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's not like a bad thing to work for someone. Right. Maybe that's what I need to do. Because I mean I think I go through that too of like yeah I feel like I don't have like hard skills yeah and so it's like what do I do what do I do then Uh because like I know I like the one thing I know I like is like talking right yeah and so I'm like okay podcasting makes sense right but then like in like a oh I have to make money type of sense yeah yeah like I'm like oh okay like sales Mm. but then again same like you yeah mine isn't after two months I get sick of it it's like at the six month mark, I'm like, what am I doing with my life? You get deep into it. Until yeah. <laughs> I get yeah, deep yeah. because I think like I like almost like delude myself into uh-huh. believing that I like my job. Uh, you know how long I mean? have you been doing the podcast? This has been going on like we have seasons and yeah. so um like three years ish. Oh wow. If like I condense it, it's probably like two years. And how many times have you gotten to the what am I doing? I see with the podcast, never. Oh, like oh, I still love, yeah, that's good. I still okay. love, yeah, yeah. but then, right. Like you have to, yeah. As a creative person, I think you have to be a little bit rational sometimes. Yeah. If you're not like creative, creative. Yeah. You, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's my problem. Mm, yeah. Cause like on, in the scale of like creative to rational, like where do you lie? I'm, I think I just have ideas. Like I'm just all the way over here. Oh. Yeah, because yeah, I think I'm just very unrealistic at times. Which My dreams cool. are like too too much, uh-huh. and like I'll never fulfill them. Oh. Type of thing. Like okay, like I was thinking back to my five year plan like five years ago. Oh, and uh-huh. what that was, and like nowhere near it. Okay, can I ask 
I five okay. Years. Well, actually, okay. I didn't move. I moved out, so that was okay. like I moved out of my parents' house. That mm. was like one thing. I made friends. Those two things. Okay, so that's good. other than that, it was like, oh, I'll uh, probably be close to being married by now. Oh, uh-huh. I'll, like be ready. Oh, you're being ready. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready <laughs> like, to be a husband now. Yeah. <laughs> um, I wanted to be a young dad. Oh, and I, I thought that was like oh, like 27, 28. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Okay. Maybe I we're looking at like thirty. 34 maybe oh yeah yeah yeah. 32 i don't know yeah and then uh yeah i was gonna be like rolling in the dough oh yeah and here we are five years later right gotta make a new one interesting yeah. but would you consider yourself like someone who like likes to like set goals and like stuff like that like five-year plan i don't like i think i just made a five-year plan just because i wanted to see what would happen but i don't think i set goals too often mm-hmm Okay. But it is it's like a big oh uh, yeah because yeah. i'm not like a i'm not like a five-year plan 10-year oh, plan person like just i just like, like don't what do you do then i just don't oh, i just, just kind of do just go with the flow yeah yeah, yeah. i'm That's like cool. okay yeah, like yeah. what can i like do yeah. now but i mean you probably thought about like where you'd be you know oh, you see like whenever people are like oh like you can like envision like where you are and uh-huh. like all of that stuff i feel like my like i there's no vision that comes to mind like there's Uh, no like clear picture yeah like whereas like i feel like some people are like oh yeah i can like literally see myself like living in this place with these friends doing these things and i'm like there are too it's almost like there are too many options Mm, you know yeah yeah like go based off feeling then or what do you um I think I'm more of a feeler. Oh, you see, but I, it's almost like I'm in the middle because like I'm pretty logical, Uh but then I do like feel my feelings like very deeply, you know? Yeah. And so, yeah, I feel like in terms of that, I'm just kind of like, that's interesting. we'll see where we end up. But I also like have been getting like the, the feeling like, oh, maybe I should make a five-year plan, Mm. you know? I mean, I don't know. It doesn't really help you in any way. I don't think. If anything, it just puts more pressure. You see, that's... Because I, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, okay, I'm getting this fourth year of my five-year plan. <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> got to start happening. Yeah. 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 And, like, I think maybe, like, I haven't really, like, gone into why making a plan doesn't work for me. But yeah. I think it's that. I think yeah. it's, like, oh, I've set the expectation. If I don't meet it, that's, like, yet another mm. thing I didn't finish. Yeah. Yeah. right because okay yeah before the podcast we were talking about how like we just go through a lot of hobbies um like I'm sure there's more rug makers out there mm-hmm. yeah. if if you got into rug tufting and didn't it made less than five rugs <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> and they're all this big it's, they literally, it's literally this big i remember like i was like what what am i supposed to do with yeah. this like i don't know yeah. where to put it it's not really big enough for anything so i hung it on my wall uh-huh. And yeah. then like people are like, what is that? I'm like, that's a rug. It's a rug, obviously. <laughs> yeah, duh. <laughs> and then and then it fell down and I never put it back yeah. up. So yeah. but we're over that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so right, like I like picking up little hobbies. Yeah. Like I went through a beating phase and like right mm-hmm. now I've been like trying to DJ, but like we'll see if that actually ever happens. But I think because of all the hobbies, like I like start and don't finish, it's almost like I don't trust myself that I like can follow through on things. Oh. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Like yeah. it's like I like lost yeah confidence in that uh-huh. in a way. And so even like I think one thing I like have been wanting to like try to get better at is like putting trust back into myself. Yeah. I think that's something I've been working on this year, too. It, I heard it on, uh, I think it was Casey Neistat's brother, Van, if oh. you're familiar. Um, but anyways, he just said to, like, if you're working on anything, just finish it. And no matter how good or bad it turns out, at least you, like, you did it. And I think you'll be more proud that you finished it in the end than oh. how good or bad it is. Oh. It kind of goes for everything. That's why this, like, this trip, that's, like, all I've been thinking. Like, okay, I just have to finish it no matter how good the YouTube video is at the end. Uh-huh like we can make something work with right. it you know right, and i think right. i was thinking in the beginning i was thinking too much of um like okay this needs to happen and then maybe i could do this so that this happens okay and none of it like went to plan which uh, kind of like bummed me out right and yeah i like thought about quitting so many times but we'll get there we'll get to the end right because yeah. you're also like 
three weeks out of four yeah, weeks three, in, yeah, right? Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. So I have like a little bit less than a week left. Yeah. And so I guess like, right, you have a lot of time to reflect. Like, do you yeah. have any like reflections on like the experience of living in your car and living off of t-shirt sales? Yeah, I probably wouldn't recommend it. Okay. Well, okay, the living part is not bad. Mm. Like, it's comfortable in my car. Um, it's not, I don't feel unsafe at all. Oh, okay, that's and, good. And, uh, yeah, like, showering is easy. Like, Planet, Planet, Planet Fitness, Fitness is right there. Oh. I, like, parked right behind it. Oh, okay. So I just walk. Yeah, I walk in. And, um, but I don't, I don't know if I would, maybe I approach it differently. Oh. Like, different mindset going into it. Okay. Yeah, I just had, like, high expectations, but... It's okay if it goes different. Right. What were, like, some of the expectations? Okay. So so the idea just kept growing from the cart thing. And then it was kind of like, okay, I'm going to make so much. Like, what am I going to do with the money? Like, I don't, it's not about me keeping money and me, like, you know, just making a ton. Mm-hmm. Um, I really wanted to, uh, like, my roommates, we, we, like, played basketball in the house. Like, all these activities. So all our socks have holes in them. Oh. So I was like, oh, okay, first thing, I'll, like, buy everyone, like, new socks. Oh, that's nice. And I was like, oh, I'm going to, like, mention Stance socks because, like, it's my favorite pair of socks. Maybe they'll, like, sponsor me, like, in the end because they'll see the video because of how big it's going to be. Right. Well, yeah, obviously that's not. But anyways, <laughs> the second thing was, it's kind of, okay, it's kind of deep, but my girlfriend and I had a conversation, like, around Christmas time. Uh-huh. And we were on the way to Bass Pro Shops. She brought something up about how she doesn't want me to end up, or she doesn't want to end up resenting me in like a year or two because uh-huh. I'm not like near her level, you know? She has like great job um, and she's at the best part of her life right now and I'm like uh-huh. the bottom. So so she, yeah, she just said that and it really like, because I had thought of it, right. like maybe she could feel this way because of where she's at and I don't know, it made me feel kind of guilty for not, saying anything to her because i didn't want if she didn't think of it right i didn't want to plant it in her brain oh yeah so it's like yeah this is like so much pressure yeah so since she said that i had been thinking like oh i want to like take her on a vacation or something so our anniversary is coming up um in june Mm -hmm. so i wanted this trip to like i could raise money and then in the end i'll surprise her Oh. And it's like really all for her. And yeah. Like, oh, we're going to Hawaii. Oh, like yeah. Like that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Can't go to Hawaii with $7. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, support so, Extreme Arts and Crafts. <laughs> yeah. But I don't think, uh, yeah, now looking at it, I don't think it's about the sales. Um, it's been like not a good experience, but like crazy experience. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't have, yeah, felt this, felt these things any other way. I don't mm, think. Yeah. That makes sense. And I kind of want to, like, touch on the whole, like, relationship with your girlfriend, like, sort of stuff, if you're comfortable. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Um, And so, right, I think it's, like, I think resentment is, like, a very, like, human feeling. Mm -hmm. But, like, the scary thing about it is that, like, you don't feel it. Yeah. Until it's, like. happened. It's, like, there already. It's there. Right? And so. I guess, like, you know, when it comes to, like, relationships, I feel like a lot of people don't really think about, like, oh, like, if someone is the breadwinner in the house or, like, you know, someone is just at a different place in their life, like, it's hard to, like, maybe have the level of understanding that you would if, like, you guys were both, quote, on the same level. Um, And so, right, it makes sense that, like, Mm -hmm. you wouldn't... And it's out of both of our control, too. Like, she can't help feeling that way. It'll just... Like, she could wake up one day and, like, I just want to travel and you can't travel with me, so. Right. Like, what do I, yeah. Right. Like, I think that's really hard. And then it's also, like, let's say, she, let's say, let's say she does want to, like, take a trip. It's, uh-huh. like, okay, like, I want you to come so much, like, yeah, I'll, I'll pay, pay for you. Yeah. But then, like, how, how would you feel if um, put in that position of, like, her paying for you? I wouldn't feel bad that she's paying because I know she doesn't mind it. Mm-hmm. But I would, it would make me feel, bad. like, every time she'll pay for a meal or something, it, like, it sucks, you know? Like, right. You know, it's like 40 bucks. Come on, I can't. Right. Yeah. But she gets it, and she's been supporting me through, like, literally everything. Aww. Like, so many bad, oh, my, like, so many bad uh, little ideas that I've had. <laughs> I don't know how. Hey, hey. You have <laughs> yeah. to, like, have however many bad ideas to get yeah. your one good one. Yeah. So, I mean, 
like we're bo- we're both Asian American. Um, so do you ever feel or and we like grew up in like an American society, mm-hmm. and so do you ever feel like the pressures, especially of like, oh, I'm the man, like I should be taking care of my girlfriend, or do you think like you're kind of like past? Um, yeah, I don't think I do. Mm-hmm. Just because you know she's like yeah she's like killing it right now, so I have so much respect for her, and like I'm very proud. Like, I know, I'm pretty sure my time will come where I'm, you know. Yeah. Like, before before she got this job, it was rough for her, like, job searching. Mm-hmm. And I was just trying to keep her. That was when we were both at Noodles. Oh, yeah. So, you know, like, I'm like, yeah. Yeah. NFTs, baby. Yeah, like, we're making big money. Yeah. <laughs> and then she, yeah, so I was, like, paying for everything then because she didn't have a job. And then it kind of just, like, switched. Oh. But I think that's like the relationship thing, you know. It's never fifty fifty. Right, right. It's just like, like someone's just carrying, and she's been carrying the weight most of the time. Oh, I see. Yeah. I see. Okay, nice. Wait, yeah. and how long have you guys been dating? Uh, eight years. You guys have been dating eight years. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. so at the end of this, maybe I'll like propose or something. Oh, okay, got it. <laughs> <laughs> Ring pop. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. Okay, and do you think that like? especially through this part of your life where you said like it was kind of mm-hmm. the bottom well, you know you think it's the bottom and it just keeps oh and it, ke- it, it keeps going down yeah maybe this is the bottom oh okay nice maybe, well maybe it's the it has to be this <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah and you're like oh wait yeah, yeah. it got a little bit worse <laughs> yeah or like maybe a lot worse <laughs> yeah it's just a struggle but yeah i don't know huh and so I, can i ask like right i've i've like I think I've been at my bottom. I hope that was the mm-hmm. bottom. Yeah. Like whenever I went through that. I yeah. hope it never gets lower than that. Yeah, yeah. Because it's rough. No, you're good. It's up from here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Um, but like, I guess like what are like, have you identified like the quote like factors that are contributing to this being the bottom? Um, I don't know. It's probably because I'm, my head's in the clouds, you know? Oh. Yeah. Do you ever think like, I, I should... I should, like, like, bring it back down to reality. Yeah, I wish I could, but, like, I don't know. Sometimes, every time I have an idea, I, like, truly believe in it. And mm-hmm. then on this trip, I realized, like, why did I think that way, you know? Like, why did I think I was going to sell, like, $4,000 worth of T-shirts? I'm getting oh. another phone call. These people are, like, do you they just check, won't do, leave me alone. Do you want to just, like, check who it is? No, it's okay. Okay. <laughs> probably just some fans oh yeah, yeah. yeah they found my phone number. oh you're gonna have to change it <laughs> yeah. again yeah. okay <laughs> so okay wait i'm gonna check it yeah speaking Where of the devil you? i'm doing a podcast and you're interrupting hi this is hannah this is amorous hi, hannah. we're hi. talking about you right now so i'll call you in like an hour or something okay it's because on your location you look like you're underneath a freeway so i was like is this bitch dead <laughs> oh <laughs> no we're on the 13th floor look at this <laughs> oh it literally looks like you're under a freeway <laughs> Sorry, okay. That's actually terrifying. Sorry, no, you're <laughs> fine. Nice meeting you. <laughs> okay, bye. I'm like, oh, should we ask her some questions about resenting you? <laughs> She's like, yeah, it's over. She called me to break up. <laughs> Live. Um, like, when I come up with an idea, I don't think my head is in the clouds at the time. Right. Like, I don't think it's out of reach. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Like, I genuinely thought I could be the next person to make disneyland like a new disneyland i love that yeah i like love that yeah yeah like just like a little delusional but like you're like oh yeah it's gonna happen yeah yeah and like oh yeah i'll sell enough shirts and then we'll go on a vacation like all paid for through the shirts and it's like so realistic in my head Uh uh uh-huh and then just goes completely different oh so i don't know if it's i don't know yeah too, i'm just a dreamer i feel like yeah yeah do you it's pretty bad do you think that your girlfriend is like an executor um yeah she is yeah she gets things done okay because planner she's like oh like every little thing you know oh i see I my see. calendar is just like full of invites from her and i have like nothing oh my god like, i love that yeah yeah because i always think like dreamers need executors yeah Cause like my dad is a dreamer, but he's always like, "Oh, like your mom is like so like yeah practical. keeps him on track exactly yeah. exactly." So I'm like, "Huh," but yeah, yeah, like when things like kind of don't go your way. So like, right example mm-hmm. like this. <laughs> yeah. Do you 
automatically pivot or like what's kind of like the thought process um like usually it's like going into just being in my head uh-huh like what why right yeah pretty much every single time it's that and this one was like really this, this one was pretty bad i was stressing well i feel like also like one of your a tiktok went viral right uh oh yeah 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 Yeah. it wasn't mine but someone else purchased a shirt Mm -hmm. um and yeah the way i packaged it i put it in a brown paper bag Uh uh-huh and made it look like lunch i wrote it on a post-it i was like have a great day at school love mom and then she she ended up living super close like 10 minutes oh uh so i was like oh i'm just gonna drop it off right not thinking anything of it Uh and then i put it on her doorstep take a picture and then i send it through email um but the person that ordered it wasn't home the mom brought it in and was like super sussed out right obviously uh, right like looking at it now i'm like why would any yeah okay so she posts the tiktok basically saying how her family in the group chat is like freaking out over this thing like oh my god is it a bomb like that's so like, terrifying what's happening and yeah she posted it and kind of yeah went it kind of blew up yeah and so do you think like that gave you like a little bit more hope oh yeah like probably too much Uh, oh like oh okay all these people like 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 the shirts right so yeah yeah because if that didn't happen maybe this cart thing wouldn't happen oh yeah right but you know everything happens for a reason i yeah for sure like also i think you know you were saying like you went to a market on saturday to sell and like you did well Yeah, yeah so like maybe it's about like finding your the place yeah right place yeah right people. like your people because like yeah. who to be honest like this is my humor yeah like, if i could put my humor in a shirt it would be this right. that's what i thought like people would just get it yeah but i went to i did a market the first it was like the first official day mm. uh, on a saturday it was in la like super heavy street where people like everyone's so cool you know like oh yeah, yeah. you know like you see the coolest people in la everyone is dressed like that oh so it's so intimidating i'm just sitting there with my cart and like you see people walking by and they like they just double take side eye they say something to their friend like oh my god and it was like that for the whole day that's terrifying yeah Yeah, maybe yeah maybe not so that wasn't but i thought people would have a sense of humor you know oh no you know how like those shirts are in right now like yeah kind of like dorky like kind of meme yeah yeah like it's like taking like I don't know. Yeah, it's just a joke. Come yeah. on, guys. Yeah. Have some fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like be a little silly. Yeah. Um, yeah. So maybe yeah, maybe it's about I finding know. the right crowd. Yeah. Cause also like I checked out your website, like I'm like, oh, there's a lot of like thought and intention that like went into this. Is there? From from an outside perspective. Like I was literally like, oh wow, like all the design, even the name. Even the name uh, Extreme Arts and Crafts, like when you change your Instagram handle to that, I was like, "That's fucking hilarious!" Like that's thank like, you, thank you. Like I wouldn't have ever thought of that. Yeah, I, that it wasn't much thought. Oh really? It felt right, and it. Oh, and then like, I'll just do that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I feel like you know the creativity yeah. is there, yeah, but yeah. I think like it's hard when like you feel like you have the right product and like can't reach yeah like i stopped believing in myself like so easily now yeah pretty yeah yeah it's kind of scary but yeah i think like i guess in terms of like like where you get like validation from right like you mm-hmm. said like you know when things like this don't work out yeah like do you think you like depend on like outward sources for validation of like your creative um, ventures no i don't i think it's Okay, because when, like, I have an idea, mm-hmm. obviously my girlfriend will support it. Mm. All my friends will support it. I mean, they'll tell me if it's bad, but come on, like, do I make anything bad? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Me? Yeah. Bad? Mm-mm. Yeah. And, yeah, they'll all support it, like, so heavily. So I have that. Right. And then I put it out there. And then I kind of, maybe I feel like I'm letting everyone down kind of thing uh-huh. if it doesn't do well oh yeah like you know all these people that believed in me like all your friends yeah and no girlfriend. one wants to buy it and then oh it's kind of like oh well maybe they're too supportive oh no, i'm just kidding they're not too supportive but 
<laughs> it's kind of like that, you know? Yeah. Like, maybe if she didn't support everything, uh huh, then I wouldn't have done some of the things that I regret making or whatever. Oh. And, and you have things that you regret making? Um, regret putting out there or like, okay, it's the time. I think it's the time. Okay. I regret the time that I put into ideas. Oh. Maybe it should have just been like a post and then move on from that. Right. But instead I like, you know, try to push it for too long. Try to, yeah. Like so maybe like this, maybe it, it's had its time. Like that one TikTok thing, this, and then after that on to the next oh yeah that's i never thought about that like questioning the time yeah that you put into something but i guess if you like it it's different uh-huh. like if you still enjoy like podcasting you haven't gotten tired of it so just keep doing it but yeah. if like i'm starting to doubt it mm-hmm, mm-hmm. i'm not just gonna put because then you know i'm not gonna be happy in the end that's true right because then you like that's like the whole like sunk cost theory of like yeah oh just because i put this many hours into something i have to continue Mm -hmm. but like you're just wasting yeah potentially more time but yeah i mean even with even with like podcasting like i think there was a time period where i was like very discouraged Mm -hmm. because it was like oh like i was literally staring at numbers like every single day like tracking and it like put me in such a bad headspace yeah, sure. that like I was like, oh, I just need to, I just need to shut it off. And so I've like stopped looking at the numbers and like, even like, I guess like in how I talk about podcasting, like to friends and mm-hmm. like you and wh- yeah. wh- whoever, like I have to tell myself this is for fun. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like That's good. if yeah. it's, if it becomes something bigger, yeah, I'm running with it. I love it. But for now it's for fun (laughs) yeah but then again i'm like huh am i lying to myself like is it like is it purely for fun or like do i want this to be something that's dangerous your brain is so dangerous it's so strong yeah yeah Yeah. like i've had to like learn trick yourself yeah i know (laughs) i'm like i'm just constantly lying to like when i say like oh i'm i'm delulu yeah it's for my own sanity (laughs) you know what i mean yeah yeah. Yeah. (laughs) like you have to have like hope in a sense yeah you do that it'll work out definitely do yeah if you weren't doing this do you think that like you would you would still like have had the same like thoughts yeah maybe not as extreme mm-hmm, mm-hmm. extreme arts and crafts.com <laughs> um but yeah i also lost my job during this i got fired i had a graphic design job so i was like first week or two i was like working out of a Cafe? out of the car yeah cafe. Oh, okay. uh-huh and then yeah i got fired so that kind of it was it was right after vague i have to tell you about vegas oh my gosh yes okay so on friday two fridays ago dylan who's my filmer slash roommate um in the he, creative house yeah he uh-huh. and i drove to vegas for this event called shrek rave you've heard of oh, it oh yeah, yeah 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 they um i've seen it yeah it's like a shrek themed rave everyone dresses up in costume they play like shrek music that's so it's nuts yeah and it travels like all around that's so crazy so yeah we were going to the one in vegas is at area 15 and um we drove down there got there about 3 p.m didn't start till 9 oh shit so yeah so we just had a lot of time to kill we walked around circus circus um and then we ended up in the venetian Uh like starbucks just editing and we were talking about the idea of uh like possibly buying tickets to get in oh because we were just gonna go in the parking lot and and walk around and sell sell. yeah yeah but we were like maybe we should go like it'll be fun we drove all the way down here right so we looked at the website and tickets were 45 dollars i had like 47 at the time oh and we still needed gas to get home we had like 20 miles left oh yeah no yeah so we didn't do that we looked on facebook their facebook page oh and see. people were selling them oh so we messaged two ladies one of them got back to us she was like 35 um so we were like okay well let's ask the other person first yeah she said 30 so i was like oh leave me with like 15 bucks for gas probably not enough right so what, what do we have to lose we asked we offered her 20 oh and she's like, oh, yeah, just Venmo this, blah, blah, blah. So we sent the money. Um, and then we sent her a screenshot so she knew that we paid. Yeah. She's like, okay, let me make sure it's in my account, and then I'll send it through email. Okay. We refresh email. <gasps> Nothing. 
So we're like, okay, maybe Ticketmaster. Like, maybe we went straight to Ticketmaster. Oh, right. Or yeah, like we spam. refreshed Ticketmaster. Nope. You're joking. <laughs> and then we go to message her uh, on Facebook. Like, hey, did you send it? We refresh the page, and she blocks us. You're joking. She you got blocked. scammed? We got scammed. For Shrek Rave? For Shrek Rave. $20. Well, $20 each, but my half was only 20 Wait, no. Yeah, so I have $20 left. It was, it was really funny. <laughs> but like kind of stressful Wait, yeah. like, i have 20 to get back mm -hmm. with 20 miles in the tank like 20 dollars would get me maybe a hundred hundred ten miles something like that yeah so yeah we're like what do we do but obviously we're in vegas mm -hmm. and, and so me i'm like i've i can, I can make it back i can win i can make it back yeah 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 so last 20 dollars we put into roulette Okay. <laughs> and we're actually doing well, like five five dollar minimum bet. Um, we're going like, you know, up ten, go down five, whatever. Yeah. It's too slow. So Dylan's like, let's just put it all all twenty. So, okay. okay, we put all twenty on red. Right. And it's spinning and spinning. It feels like hours. Right, right. We look at it, it hits red. Sure. It hit red. We're like five minutes in, it hit <gasps> red. So we're like, okay, let's cash out. We have 40 bucks now. Okay, nice. You, so, you got, like, kind yeah. of your money back. Yeah. Well, I did get my money back. Yeah. So, yeah, we we leave the casino. We're, like, on a high. Uh -huh. Like, the adrenaline was crazy. Oh, yeah. It was only 20 bucks, but, you You're know. You're like, oh, I know why people gamble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I know, if that didn't fuel my addiction, oh, my. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <It's terrible. laughs> uh, yeah, so we're at Shrek Grave parking lot, and we're like, okay, like, I'm going to kill it here. It's Shrek. Sweat Shrek shirts yeah. at Shrek Rave. Yeah. Walk around 30 minutes. No one's buying. I didn't sell one shirt. That's kind of crazy. I didn't sell one shirt. That's kind of Shrek crazy. Rave. Yeah. I'm like confused by yeah, that. Yeah, same. 30 minutes. So I'm like taking a break in the car. Like I'm so I'm in my head, you know, like that was when it started. Like, what am I doing? Um. Like I can't sell a Shrek shirt to to Shrek. People wearing a Shrek costume. Right. Yeah, so that was really bad. We ended up getting kicked out of the parking lot. Like, no oh. soliciting. Oh. So it was just, yeah, a long, sad drive home. Oh, my gosh, that is so sad. <laughs> it was, yeah, it was and terrible. Like, how do you, like, recover from that? I didn't think I was going to. <laughs> and then two days later, I get fired. So I'm like, yeah, maybe this is, like, I could call it and just right. say I got fired. I need to make rent right so i can't do this right yeah but yeah dylan kind of talked me out of it everyone talked me out of it yeah like just finish two more weeks yeah yeah but like it's gonna be the same yeah that that week was rough wait i bet it's your fans Packing. yeah 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 <laughs> fans um but i guess embarking on this whole like journey and going through potentially the lowest part of your life hopefully the lowest part of your life yeah what are some, like, I guess, like, learning lessons or maybe advice for people who, like, could be going through the same thing? I don't know. I just realized I'm, like, super grateful for people I have around me. Mm. And, like, yeah, like, every time I saw them, like I said, it just made me, like, a little bit happier, which I needed. Yeah. Yeah, just, like, being alone kind of was rough. Also, I don't know, just maybe just finish it. Mm. Just finish what you start. Because I don't know, maybe it'll blow up yeah who knows i still I, I really believe in you yeah thank you i hope you know it's not just because i know you thank you thank like you. this is just objective thank you <laughs> objective but i appreciate it I, li I like that i feel like with the whole finishing stuff yeah. like projects you take on that's like advice for me yeah i mean i'm not one to give advice because <laughs> i don't even know what's happening right now but yeah i think it does i'm i know i'll be super happy that i just completed it mm, mm -hmm. and no matter like what happens i'm cool with it okay nice yeah, yeah so yeah. when the youtube video comes out i yeah. will post on all socials yes thank you um but yeah be sure to follow grant extreme arts and crafts on all social platforms yep. extreme arts and crafts do you have a youtube channel not yet I didn't, I okay didn't he's gonna yet. make it yeah, he's I'll gonna make, make it, it. same um, name same name okay okay extreme arts and crafts yeah. and yeah support his journey 
He's definitely, I think Grant, I think you're like one of the most interesting pe- people I've ever met. Yeah. And, and I'm like, one huh. of the, one of the, I don't know. <laughs> but then also, I think I relate to you in a lot of ways. Yeah. 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 I think a lot of people do. Yeah. We're just all out here. Just kind of winging it. Just trying to do whatever we feel like doing. No. Yeah. I always say like my parents, they didn't know what the heck they were doing. Everyone just yeah. kind of bullshits until they get somewhere, <laughs> yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah. So. But they got, our parents like get stuff done, you know? Oh, respect to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then check out Moldu Studio on all platforms, Mal Market on all platforms. And then you guys know where to find Proogly Pod on all platforms. Um, And so, yeah, please be sure to comment. Let me know what you guys want to hear about and all that good stuff. But that's it for today. Yeah, thank you. Thank, thank you. you for having me. Yeah, no, thanks for coming on. Okay, we end like this. We go, bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs>